on a snowy mid-October Sunday. Glad to have you along with us. My name is Joe Moore. I'm the Eagles taking on the number two seed Buccaneers. And uh, Dennis, I know you're out there, if not every night, most every night during the regular season at Podman Park. Uh, third meeting between these two teams. They are the top two seeds. Should be a pretty good one, I would think, to kick things off. You are correct, Joe. Should be a good game. We have the number uh, one seed Eagles versus the number two seed Buccaneers. Uh, during the regular season, the Eagles tied the Buccaneers in week two, and uh, they beat the Buccaneers in uh, week six. So it should be a real good game here. I'm, I'm expecting uh, uh, a real exciting ball game here. That tie in week two for the Eagles, the only blemish on an otherwise perfect season. Eagles come in, uh, five wins and one tie. The Buccaneers, a record of four wins, one loss, and one tie. So, uh, again, the only blemishes on the Buccaneers' record the two times they face the Eagles. Is the, of course, is the team that they're playing, diversing, or facing today. So, yeah, it should be an interesting ballgame. As we have seen in years past, however, you can kind of throw all this out the window in a one-game playoff scenario. Yep, one win and, and you win it. So who knows what, what happens. That's why we play the game. The snow, I think, will be kind of an interesting factor today. Uh, if the kids can hold on to the football, if there's going to be really very much passing, that kind of thing with the field conditions. Well, folks, as we get underway here today, I would like to tell you that the Eagles wear the dark tops, and they do but so do the Buccaneers. <laughs> so the Eagles actually will be moving from left to right here. The Buccaneers right, will start the with the again. football moving right to left. Yes, uh, just noticing that too, the colors are very, very similar. Um, we'll have to kind of keep a close eye on that today, make sure we get the right calls out there. Buccaneers quarterback Maverick Timmons leads his uh, Buccaneer teammates to the line of scrimmage. First and 10 from their 30. Straight keep Timmons with a nice hole right up the middle. Bounces it out to the right and he's across the 35 still. Mm -hmm. Just moving that pile ahead and falls forward to the 38 yard line. And Dennis Le might be a good time to reacquaint me for sure. And probably some of the uh, listeners out there, some of the rules here in the fourth and fifth grade, I noticed no kickoff here. No kickoff in fourth and fifth grade, that is correct. Um, that when the short. kids punt, there'll be no rushing the punter. So the, the punter will have as, as much time as he needs to get the punt off. Uh, the other big difference, if you're watching at home, you'll see that it's an 80 yard field. We do not play on the full 100 yard field. It's a, it is an 80 yard field. Um, uh, we do have a running weight this year for fourth and fifth grade like we do every year so uh, those are just some of the few few of the nuances for fourth and fifth grade second and two for the buccaneers the pitch running laterally this time with it and a first down run into eagles territory Timmons with the tackle Miles on the tackle. Nice run there for the Buccaneers. Get that first down. Gianni Pesco on the carry for the Buccaneers. As far as uh, game time, Dennis, 12 minute quarters. 12 minute, 12 minute quarters. Stop uh, time, running time. Uh, for the most part, running time. Um, if they do, of course, run out of bounds, that kind of thing, it stops. But. Handoff coming near side, bouncing it to the outside. This is Evan Jensen, and Jensen, a nice little spin move. Or check that, it's Kean Galvin on the carry, and Galvin. Galvin will pick up about seven, maybe eight on the play. Nice game there on first down, seven yards. Look, there was a hole there, or opening on the end there, but you can see with the field conditions, he kind of slipped and stumbled a little bit to slow him up. But it looks like that whole end was, was, wide, was wide open for him. Second and four. So three plays, three solid games for the Buccaneers to start things off, and three different runners, so they're... Mix so it they up. can spread it out a little bit. This is Pesco, cuts it back up. He's got a first down, bounce to the outside, to the 15, to the 10. Pesco to the corner of the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown, he made it to the pylon. 
before Sam Rupnow can get him. And the Buccaneers strike first. They did call. Okay, I didn't see the arms go up, but okay, so it is touchdown. Yeah, nice run. Boy, nice run for the Buccaneers. Good start to the game. And here's another thing, obviously, with an 80-yard field, like you mentioned, the goalposts are not in play here. Dennis, what is the conversion protocol? Right. You run the football in, you get one point. If you throw it into the end zone, it's two-point conversion. Yeah, obviously there's no extra point kicking or anything here, so my my assumption is here they'll run the football, of course. But. Timmons oh. right up the middle and walks into the end zone. That conversion is good for a point. Now 9-10 left in the opening quarter. It's the Buccaneers 7, the Eagles nothing. Boy, I tell you, good start for the Buccaneers, Joe. Um, Way to come out right down the field. We actually made it look pretty easy. They did, yeah, yeah. despite the slippery conditions. Yeah, exactly. So now the Eagles will have to come back and have an answer for that. And they'll start, of course, right under on the 30. Yeah, that's true. It was five degrees warmer. Yeah, we took uh, the kick out, kickoff out of fourth and fifth grade about two, two, three years ago now, just for concussion purposes and, you know. Safety, more safety issues. That'd be perfectly honest with the kickoff anyway, it'd go about 15 yards. Yeah. Anyway, so. <laughs> no, certainly a lot of concerns in that regard. And uh, I understand, you know, countrywide, obviously, with the NFL leading the charge, and, you know, with uh, all the news that's come out with former players and all the concussion related symptoms that have come along, it's certainly filtered down to youth levels as well, hasn't it? It sure has. Our numbers are down uh, pretty drastically this year. Again, it is a definitely a concern for our program. Something we'll probably have to address during the off season. So the Eagles, their first attempt, they bobbled the snap and getting uh, taken down after picking it up was uh, Giacomo Anderson. That's a loss of four on the play. Looked like a bad exchange there between the center and the quarterback. That play was doomed kind of from the start. Our thanks to uh, TV19 as well as MSBN. MSBN providing the live uh, web streaming of this game. And uh, you can contact us here if you'd like to uh, participate in Super Sunday yourself. Hudson Broadcasting at gmail.com is the email address. Love to hear from you. Find out where you might be watching this one from live. As the Eagles hand it off, coming near side is Rupnow. Rupnow trying to reverse course, kind of slid. And he'll be taken down, gang tackled, leading the charge there was Carson Ritchie. Yeah, not much there on the right side for them to, to get around that end. Good defensive stop by the Buccaneers. A loss of one on that play brings up third and 14. Yeah, I'd like to thank you again, Joel, for volunteering to broadcast for us. We certainly appreciate it, all that you do for us. So. I was uh, kind of thinking this is, what, year six, seven? It's been um, a while. It's been, it's been, been, a, been, it's been a few years, yeah. We've been doing it together now for yeah. a few years, yeah. yeah. You kind of always have it on your calendar. And ready Darn right. Go. I'd like to talk to the board member in charge of the weather, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A handoff, and again, no room to run. This time it was Ethan Richter on the carry. Richter on the carry. And carry is dropped, or Richter is a dropped for a loss of three. Fourth and 17, so what is the fourth down protocol here? Fourth down protocol is they do have to declare. Um, uh, obviously, it's a punting situation, so there'll be you'll see now there'll be no rushing the punter. The punter will have as long as he needs to get the punt off. Uh, even if it's a bad snap, there's no rushing of the punter. So it's hard enough at this age to get them to kick it, let alone if they're under pressure. To you can kind of pick it up on the screen there that snow that continues to fall, getting pushed along by kind of a north northwest wind. Lining up to go for it here. Oh. Oh, and coming in defensively was A.J. Kringle blowing that play up. And the Buccaneers leading 7-0. Going to start just inside the 20. Nice defensive play by number 95, A.J. Kringle. He just blew up that line and got in there for the tackle. Real nice play. 
tell you what, looks like uh, Buccaneers came to play today. Take over, first and ten. They are definitely fired up. And again, we mentioned this before the broadcast. I mean, it's 5-0-1, oh, a one versus two, but pretty much, you know, honestly, they're pretty even teams here. So, and the Buccaneers are proving that right now. snap Timmons again just walks right up the middle he's got a nice gain and finally is taken down at about the 15 yard line Timmons on the carry. gain of four on the play Easton Miles comes up off the bottom of the pile for the Eagles nice tackle for Timmons or nice run for Timmons there for the Buccaneers Pitch, reverse coming back near side. This is Cam Autry, Autry toward the corner and he is in with another Buccaneers Autry touchdown. It is 13 to nothing, Buccaneers. What a well-conceived play by the Buccaneers. Had, had the Eagles totally fooled on that play. And right now the Eagles gotta be just stunned. Buccaneers making it look pretty easy the first two possessions. First two possessions making it look real easy. 5-0-1 oh, means nothing now. So the conversion attempt coming again, one point if they can run it in, two points if they can pass it in. And the run a handoff here. Pesco to the right side toward the goal Is he line. in? No. Oh, he is just short. A nice tackle on the outside, open field tackle by Easton Miles. Negates the conversion, so it remains 13-0 Buccaneers, 4.41 left to play first quarter. By nice tackle there for the Eagles to save that extra point. And that could mean something here towards the end of the game, you never know. Definitely, you know? definitely. So 13-0 lead for the Buccaneers, really, really good start for the, for the Buccaneers in this one. I mean, one of the uh, differences this year, Dennis, uh, Super Sunday, that, which is what I've called it for years, which is what the association has called it for years. This year, the Bob Jackson Championships. Yes, uh, we renamed it for this year for the Bob Jackson Championships. And those familiar with White Bear football know, of course, uh, head coach Bob Jackson uh, passed away this year. Uh, so we thought it'd be a appropriate uh, tribute to name our championship Sunday after him. So uh, he really meant a lot to White Bear football. And uh, hopefully this is a good uh, send-off for him to name the championship game after him. So I know you had some experience with him too, and yep. your son's pl played and, and yep. yeah, really, you know, really well respected in the community. And and it was a big, big loss, you know, shock that he passed away. But much too young. Yep, much too young. Well, the Eagles went backwards on their first possession. We're going to get a whistle here. Oh. That Looks like movement, maybe, Joe, or? Not sure what I'm the communication might be on the field. I didn't see a flag. Perhaps an alignment issue, and uh, maybe after this play can talk a little bit about how okay. offense and defense are need to align. Again, just nowhere to run this time again. It was Ethan Richter taken down. Short loss on the play. Yeah, in terms of um, alignments and stuff for fourth and fifth grade, it pretty much pretty straightforward. We have the, the tackles over the tackles. The offensive tackles have to line up directly over the ta uh, defensive tackles. Well, the linebackers have to be pr approximately five yards off the line of scrimmage. There's no creeping up or, or blitzing or anything like that in fourth and fifth grade. Um, the defense has what they call a monster back. Um, uh, he'll usually go to the tight end side. Um, it's basically a strong side linebacker. Um, that's basically, you know, we try and keep it somewhat simple 
for, for this level. Ooh, another another fumbled snap and uh, jumping on top of that one is Anderson, cover. but another loss on the play for the Eagles, third and 13 coming. Boy, I tell you, the Eagles are just struggling right now. Nothing seems to be working for them at all. Maybe a little of the jitters or the, you know. Of course, a nice thing here too, Joe, that field is artificial. In case people at home are wondering, it's an artificial field, so field condition should be fine other than slippery, slippery but it's not yeah. going to get muddy or, you know. Yep. <clears throat> Third and 14, Anderson hands it off. Richter tries the left side. He's caught from behind and taken Richter down. Richter on the carry. Kreider on the stop. Preston Kreider makes the tackle, and we've got an injured Buccaneer on the play. Trying to stop the clock momentarily with 1.39 left to play here in the opening quarter. It is 13-0 Buccaneers. And uh, your thoughts, Joe, so far here in the first quarter, what do you see? Well, I see a Buccaneers team that uh, fired on all cylinders, that offense. You know, every play they've run has been for positive yardage, a defense that has been pushing the Eagles backwards when the yeah. Eagles have the ball. It's, that's, you know. the, that's the thing, just watching the game so far progress, how, how easily the, the um, Buccaneers have made it look, honestly. I mean, they're just Here's pushing them around on both sides of the field, offense and defense. And, and you know, you, Oftentimes, the, uh, as we see the injured Buccaneer player pop up, it's Evan Alexander. He has to go off here for a play, but, you know, take the Vikings, for example, and uh, a lot was made about Kirk Cousins, and you can talk about the great wide receivers they have, but so often you win and lose the games up front in the trenches, and uh, I, I see the line of scrimmage moving in the Buccaneers' direction, offense and defense right now. Definitely, you're absolutely right. The, the line of scrimmage is pushing them around pretty much at will right now. Again, it's early, a lot of things can happen. But. Fourth and 12, Eagles this time. They do uh, appear to line up in punt formation. Looks like a little bit of confusion there. Again, now there's no rushing the punter. So, again, at home, if you see why they're not rushing, that's that's the rule. They have to take their time. Maverick Timmons, a nice catch from the 35, comes to the outside, and he'll run out of bounds in yeah, Eagles territory again. An 80-yard field here at the fourth and fifth grade level. So. Buccaneers take over at the Eagles 37 yard line. Looks like we're coming to the end of the first quarter. I want to thank our uh, streaming partner again for showing up today and streaming this game live. Uh, if you're wondering how to find that, go to our website, whitebearyouthfootball.org, and you'll be able to stream this live today. Also, Channel 19 is broadcasting it, and uh, it'll be replayed um, here in the month of October. And we reach the end of quarter number one. Your score, Buccaneers 13, Eagles nothing. We'll have second quarter action right after this. Marie, you have prediabetes. Prediabetes? I don't have time to eat right or exercise. I'm a busy mom. Oh, you're a busy mom. Yeah. This is great news. Busy moms never get prediabetes. Wait, what? Let me just... Yeah, this is all the people at risk for prediabetes, and way over here, busy moms. No? Whew. Quick snap, Timmons is going to just try to run out to the left and the have a short gain uh, out to the left as uh, Rupp now tracked him out of bounds. What do you think of the, the Timmons kid? 
pretty good runner I've seen here. He's had the football a few times. And has been when he gets it, he definitely knows what to do with it. Looks like he might have been a little surprised. It looked like the center snapped that one before everybody else on the offense might have been prepared for it. But also thought I saw some movement on the left side there, but I, obviously they didn't call anything. So second, we'll call it eight for the Buccaneers and. Even with the play that looked a little funky at the start, Dennis, they get a couple yards. Yeah. A positive play nonetheless. Pitch it back, and it's on the ground, and just diving oh, on it yeah. is Pesco. Oh, and the first negative thing that's yeah, happened. I was just going to say, that's actually the first negative play now that's happened, yeah. yeah. For negative yardage. Also, I'd like to take uh, this moment here to uh, thank our sponsors. Um, our level two sponsors this year is Fred Jr., um, Wholesale Tire, Hogan Adams, Pods Complete Car Care, and Accessories. Our level one sponsors are Beartown Lounge and Restaurant. And I'll get into the rest of those here after uh, the snap. Third and about 15 here for the Buccaneers. Bobbled snap, Timmons picks it up. Reverses course. And bounces off a tackle way back at his 30, looking for a, a spot to run. And he's ahead as he's thrown out of bounds. I see a flag down, Joe. Oh, another one. Maybe late hit, maybe? Or? Looked like a block in the back was the first indication, but yeah, it looked like. The potential is there for a lane hit. We'll wait for the official call here. I see him pointing toward the Buccaneers. So both on the Buccaneers. And so the first one, a block in the back declined. A crackback block, however, is accepted. That's a personal foul call, and that's a big one. That's 15 yarder. That one hurts, yes. Makes it third and a lot. I don't think I can do math quite that quick. It's <laughs> it's, it's a, a lot. <laughs> I think I believe 30, third and 25. If I, <laughs> on an 80 yard field, you're looking at, at a big chunk. <laughs> That's a lot. Uh, finish up some of our level one sponsors. Uh, Call the Cotton Ferraro, Carboni's Pizza, Culver's, Cup and Cone, Domino's Pizza, Fraser Automotive. And not bouncing to the outside is Pesco, and Pesco will be taken down as he got to the Pesco corner. The Bryce Johnson, the tackle before the Eagles. Better Russo on the stop. We bring up fourth and long. So a gain on the play of about five, but still fourth and a long ways to go. This is really the first series where the Buccaneers haven't really been able to move the ball at all. And it looks as though the Buccaneers have uh, made the determination to punt as the Eagles drop back in anticipation of that. And that's probably a smart call, 13-0 lead. I mean, they're driving back a little bit here. Have you, uh, just to say, I don't think we've seen a pass today either. We have not, no. no. <laughs> Which doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Cam Autry's kick and over end. Takes a nice bounce. In fact, bounces past Easton Miles. And Miles just goes back to his 29 and bounces down on it there. Nice kick for the young man there. Nice end over end there. Kick. Miles did the right thing, just pounce on it. As he 
might expect in championship game. The middle of the field is getting uh, used a lot in uh, you know, the Bob, Jan Bob Jackson Memorial Championships. And uh, sure enough, the White Bear logo is about the only thing visible on the field right now. The good news looks like the snow is starting to let up a little bit, but it, it you know you think about it, it has to be fun for the kids to be out here in the snow though. I mean, if I was that age again, I'd, I'd like that. Oh, you know, it would be great. They don't even care about the cold and the. <laughs> you know, now maybe after the game they will, but yeah. So the Eagles get a stop. Now it's up to the offense to uh, get some uh, positive momentum building as they trail 13 nothing. Delayed handoff, and boy, oh boy, Easton Miles dropped in the backfield. Jackson Thomas, the tackle Thomas for the Buccaneers. And the Eagles just look disoriented. I mean, just, nothing's really working for them right now. I don't know. I, I'm not sure, but I don't know if they've had a first down. No. No, no first down. No, no. Just totally dominated by the Buccaneers so far. Loss of five on the play brings up second and 15. Under five and a half to play in the second quarter. Off, trying to go to the outside is Rupp now. Rupp now turning the corner, heads up field, breaks a tackle, and Rupp now with the Eagles' best play of this game is out to the 35 yard line. Nice run by Rupp now. Didn't look like there's much there on the outside, and he made a nice game. Makes it a relatively, you know, you know not an easy third down, but more manageable. Third and five. Picks up about 10 on the play, so that makes it third and five for the Eagles. Maverick Timmons finally was the one that got him down or got him out of bounds on the far side. Be a little confidence boost here too if they can get a, just even get a first down now. You know, just start yeah. there. You start with the first down and not necessarily have to score, but get a first down. Off Miles spun around, ball comes out, and the Eagles are able to pounce on it. Oh, looked like a turn. Giacomo Anderson was able to pounce on that for the Eagles. They avoid the turnover. They do lose five on the play, however, and uh, face fourth and ten. That's not what they, the result they were looking for on that play, obviously. I'll go ahead and punt it away here. Or no. Tyler Doten, the last one on the field, and will line up on the right side of the line. And a solid punt here from Nolan Buto. We'll roll to a stop at the Buccaneer 34 yard line. Nice punt. Drive him back a little bit here. See if the Buccaneers can answer with uh, what uh, this almost two minute mark here in the first half. So as we get toward the end of the half here, how many timeouts will each team get per half? Three. Three timeouts per half. No way, I believe that I'm wrong. I believe that's two timeouts per half. Buccaneers lead 13 to nothing, starting first and 10 from their 35.
Simmons on the keep as the flag comes in, and uh, one look like there may be some movement, and an illegal shift yep. will be called on the Buccaneers. Yep, illegal shift there by the Buccaneers for sure. Moving before the play. I'd like to thank a few more of our sponsors here. Uh, Pitcher Place, Signature Orthodontics, uh, Taymark, Walzer Polar Chev, and of course White Bear Police Association. Always thank White Bear Police for their support. We certainly appreciate all Good. our sponsors. I mean, we need sponsors to make this program work, and that's the, the bottom line. We certainly appreciate them all. So first and 15 following the penalty. Ooh. And again, motion prior to the snap is looks like check. Some commute. It looked like maybe 70. Yep. Yeah, looks like some movement here. So another five yard mark off will make this first and 20. Clock stopped with the penalty at 113 to play in the half. And Dennis, you know, you talked about the need for sponsors and obviously a lot of volunteers as well needed to make any association run. Who are some of the board members that have uh, been instrumental this season? Well, of course, we can't. Uh, our our co-chairs, uh, Mike Mason and Tom Sarwati, they do a brunt of the work. Uh, big shout out to them. It's a lot of lot of work. I mean, this doesn't just happen by accident. Um, it's a lot of planning and a lot of phone calls and emails. And looks like a timeout here. So we'll take that time to kind of w mention some of the more more of the board. My name is Dennis Jansen. I'm also on the board at large. Um, we have Jamison Friend, who's at, uh, actually coaching today too. He's on the board. Stu Hildeman. Uh, Mike Prawls, our treasurer, does a great job. Um, we try and get job specific people for the board. You know, some of that, like Mark, Mike's a CPA, so he okay. does our finances and stuff. So it kind of makes sense, you know. Yep. Um, uh, Doug Kovala is on the board, been on there quite a few years. And, um, we could use more board members, so feel free to reach out to us if you, anyone's interested. Uh, we certainly can use more. Kathy Kirkland's helped out this year quite a bit. She's doing the, uh, there are scout troops doing a concession stand for us today, so we appreciate that. I mean, it's a lot of people. I mean, it's not just, you know, yep. community and the businesses and everyone helping out. You coming out and helping at all. First and 20 here for the Buccaneers. Timmons drops it, picks it back up, looking for some room to run and tried to spin out of a tackle, but Bryce Johnson, or check that. Liam Malloy takes him Malloy down. No gain on the play, and Buccaneers call timeout number two, stopping the clock with 43.7 seconds remaining in the opening half. Jamison here, obviously, is uh, trying to see if he can punch it in here for another score at the half. But yeah, back to the you know sponsors and volunteers, and I mean it. I can't stress enough how, you know, even through the year, the parents stepping up, working the concession stand, helping that with that. And um, it really, every we need help. We, we can't do it all, you know, and it's just. And what is the association website for those that are interested and have the time and ability to help out? White, uh, www.whitebearlakeyouthfootball.org. Go on the website, we have links and all kinds of things, sponsors and. Second and 20, the pitch to Pesco. Pesco looking for a lane. Was a slowed down by Richter and then leveled by Rupp now for a loss on the play. Nice hit by 55 Rupp, no boy. He, he really put a little pop on him. That play was done. Loss of two on the play, third and 22. And off Pesco. And he is taken down after That's a short gain. Another nice tackle by Rupp now. But that will take us to halftime of this fourth and fifth grade championship game. And your score, the Buccaneers 13, the Eagles nothing. Left second half of action for you momentarily.
morning. Hope you all had a good weekend and are ready to be inspired. One quick thing I want to remind you guys to be studying. Major key alert. Did you just look at your phone while you was in class? You played yourself. Today we're talking about inspirational quotes. You want to get that paper? You better turn in that paper and get an A+. That's a major key. Another one. Another more will talk. You want to reach the mountaintop? You got to go hard. To succeed, you have to believe. Stay focused. Fly higher than the eagle. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Louise. Louise. Can you give me an example of an inspirational quote from recent history? Don't play yourself. The key is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at GetSchool.com. Welcome back, football fans. We are set to start half number two of this fourth and fifth grade championship game. Eagles, the number one seed. Buccaneers, the number two seed. Right, it has been all Buccaneers We're in the opening half. They lead it 13 to nothing. Boy, that's an understatement too, Joe. It's been all Buccaneers in this first half. Let's see if the Eagles can respond here and uh, get, see if they can get on the scoreboard. Eagles will start with the football here in half number two. Very few positive plays offensively for them to hang their wings on in that first half. In fact, they bobble the snap. It's still loose. Ball is on the ground. And it is Buccaneer football. Well, not a good start for the um, Eagles here in the third quarter of the championship game. I'm not sure if that was Maverick Timmons that recovered it. Carson Ritchie was there as well. But in any event, first and 10 from the 32 and the Buccaneers tied and lost to the Eagles during the season, but I guess this is the one that really matters. It, uh, you can throw the regular season out the window, Joe. It doesn't matter, come playoff time. And, um, obviously the Buccaneers came to play today. Timmons hands it off. This is Pesco. Pesco cuts it back up the middle, breaks a tackle there. He's inside the 20. And uh, finally, forward momentum is stopped at about the 18 yard line, 14 yard run for Gianni Pesco. Nice run by Pesco there. Get the first down. And the Buccaneers are driving again here. Off and a huge hole off the left side. Kean Galvin is inside the 10. Looks like he'll have another Buccaneer first down. It'll be first and goal. Buccaneers from the seven. Huge hole there on the left side. Um, nice run for the Buccaneers. And they are definitely threatening right now. First and goal, Buccaneers. Ball spotted at the eight, so. Two plays, they've ripped off 24 yards and find themselves first and goal. This time they send two receivers near side. Straight run for Timmons, gonna come to the near side. Timmons tiptoes of Timmons on the carry. And it's taken out of bounds near the six. Johnson on the stop. Bryce Johnson, Ethan Richter there at the corner to meet Timmons. Again, the Buccaneers are making it look relatively easy, moving the football on the Eagles today.
Simmons hands it off. Pesco off the right side is hit in the backfield and uh, taken down for a short game. Bryce Johnson, another Johnson tackle for the Eagles. Third goal. Looked like there was a little bit of room there on the right side, and then uh, the Eagles closed in on that play pretty quickly to shut that down. Looked like that was going to go in for a score. Nice stop by the Eagles. Third and goal from the five. They hand it off to Autry on the reverse. Autry will find his way into the end zone. His second touchdown makes it 19 to nothing, Buccaneers. Oh, nice play by the Buccaneers. I mean, they had the uh, uh, Eagles totally fooled on that play. And he literally could have walked into the end zone for a touchdown there. Yeah, they've run that play twice now. Yep. And they don't have an answer for it. Yeah, they're definitely full. <laughs> that up counter, that, mis times. that misdirection, everyone's going right, and they go back to the left side. Well-conceived play by the Buccaneers. Maybe he'll throw it in for two here, my guess. But. Fumbled snap, Timmons picks it up. Running right, and he will find his way in for a one-point conversion. Boy, flat out just outran Ethan Richter to the corner that time. Nice play by Timmons. He made something out of nothing there. Yeah. I thought that was done, but he ended up getting the one point, which could be, you know, again, big factor. And boy, we're 20 nothing here. 7.45 left to play in the third, and the Buccaneers came in as the number two seed, but dominating goals. in this championship game. They certainly are. There's no other way to put it. The Buccaneers definitely are dominating this game. The Eagles really just haven't been able to get anything going offensively. And then uh, defensively, they really haven't been able to make that big stop. So, But like I said, plenty of time. We'll see. But I, I almost think the Eagles have to score in this possession here to kind of get some momentum going. Yep, three-score game, and uh, possessions are going to be running, uh, running thin here. As time will certainly become a factor for the Eagles in any comeback attempt. The handoff goes to Rupnow. Rupnow around the right side. Rupnow with a first down and quite a bit more as he's down the sideline in the Buccaneer territory. And that's exactly what they needed. Nice run. Pretty Christian easy. On the side. Big gain. 18 yards in all before he was taken down. So first and 10 Eagles from the Buccaneer 32 yard line. As you can see, the snow continues to fall here in this fourth and fifth grade championship. Probably and likely will fall through most of the sixth grade championship if we can believe the weather forecast. Yeah, looking at the forecast, they're saying, you know, possibly mid afternoon is supposed to stop, but who knows, you know. It's been coming down pretty steady all morning and now afternoon. But. Handoff comes to East of Miles. Miles has a little shake and bake and having uh, nothing to do with that one. That was Jackson Cole who lays him down for a short loss. That one was uh, doomed kind of from the start. Look at a little confusion there with the quarterback. Not sure if that was a broken play, but uh, nonetheless, it uh, turned out to be negative yardage for the Eagles. Again, if you're the Eagles at this point, don't panic. You got time to, you know, get a couple scores here and get back in the football game. It'll be second and 11 for the Eagles. And kind of a delayed handoff, Miles he is hit for no game. Again, it's Jackson Kolb coming up and uh, put them down. Yeah, Jackson Kolb, he's been all over the field today defensively for uh, the Buccaneers. Nice tackle. 
Now it makes it third and long a little bit more difficult. Once again, our thanks to TB19 for uh, the tape delay so that you folks can watch this one throughout the upcoming week. And our thanks to John Weckin and MSBN for providing the live stream uh, for all four of today's championship games. Third and 11 for the Eagles. Bobbled snap, handoff, Rupp now gonna try to run right. Met in the backfield, forced to cut up, and that is a big seam up the middle as he does so. Rupp now is ankle tackled at the 10 yard line. Cold with the touchdown saving tackle. What a nice run by 55, Rupp now. I mean, that looked like it was going for negative yardage and he made a nice run for a big gain for the Eagles. Trying to get the fans up here. Boy, that was a nice run. A gain of 23 yards on the play. It's first and goal, the ball resting uh, right on the 10 yard line. 3.45 to play in the third quarter. Let's see if they can punch it in here now. Eagles recover. Eagles do recover their own fumble. We've seen that a couple times yeah. from them today. Easton Miles on the recovery. Again, not surprising with the conditions today. The ball's a little slippery, but just when the Eagles were looking like they're making some positive yardage, they're going backwards here now. It'll be second and goal for the Eagles. Ball now back on the 17-yard line. Loss of seven on that play. Rupp now runs out of a tackle in the backfield again, tries to cut back toward the middle, and the drags would be tacklers Rupp to the line of carry. scrimmage and ahead to about the 15. So, third and goal now for the Eagles from there. Joy on the tackle. Make a little bit of positive yardage there, and then nothing, at least it's moving forward. Jackson Thomas, among others, on the tackle for the Buccaneers. See what the Eagles got here. It looks like what about third and goal, 15 yards to go for a touchdown. as he was hit. Oh, by Carson oh, Ritchie, and it is Buccaneers football. Five. Weston Joy, I think, is the one that ended up on top of that ball. Second turnover of the half on the Eagles. By nice uh, defensive play for the Buccaneers there to make a nice stop there. Thought the Eagles might go in and get a score, but uh, the turnover turned the possession around again. And like you said, that's the second turnover here now in the in the second half. It's getting to be a game of turnovers now. Under a minute to play in the third quarter. Buccaneers start from their 15. And we've got... On the plate. Looks ball. like his knee was down, yep. dead, dead ball. So it'll be second and 10 from the 15. Hand off to Pesco. Oh, he's nice. got a nice hole off the right side. Pesco. 
Let's go on the carry. Cotton taken down by a rep now, but that is a gain of eight. And that brings us to the end of quarter number three. Your score of the Buccaneers 20, the Eagles nothing in the fourth, fifth grade championship game. Nice run by Repco there. That whole side was open for a nice game. They told me a bottle couldn't dream. That I would never become a superhero. But I learned how to fly. Just to come back in a new disguise and be the hero that I've always wanted to be. Again, I'd like to thank our sponsors here while I got a few minutes. I'd like to uh, thank our level two sponsor, uh, Fred Jr. Uh, Tire, Wholesale Tire, Hogan Adams, um, Pods, uh, Complete Car Care and Accessories, our level one sponsors, we have Bear Town Lounge and Restaurant, Caldecott and Ferraro Attorney, Carboni's Pizza, Culver's, Cup and Cone, Domino's Pizza, Fraser Automotive Service, uh, Picture Place, Signature Orthodontics, Taymark, Walls of Polar Chev, and the White Bear Lake Police Association. Thank you again for all your sponsor, your sponsorship throughout the year. Yeah, certainly thanks to the sponsors. They uh, help make this association what it is, and I encourage those of you, especially those of you watching on the TV19, go hit up those sponsors. They're a big part of this community. They really are, yeah. Not, not just through football either. Tell them you saw it on White Bear, uh, you know, White Bear Youth Football. It really means a lot to the sponsors that their sponsorship's working. This is Audrey again on that counter-reverse play, but this time... Eagles stay at home and are up now. Takes him down. They've seen that before, and Eagles weren't going to be fooled again. Nice defensive play for the Eagles. Stayed in their lane, stayed home, and, and made a nice play. Brings up fourth down and about seven. It looks as though the Buccaneers have elected to punt this one away. But certainly time is now the ally of the Buccaneers. Eagles down by 20. They'll get the football back, but... Time has taken away on him. Cam Autry will punt this one away. And uh, will knock that one out of bounds. Kind of came off his foot and went to the left. Good field position here for the Eagles. They'll start first and 10 from the Buccaneer 25 yard line. Very good field position for the Eagles here. Almost a must score here for the situation for the Eagles if they want to try and get back in this game. Well, the Eagles, not used to being on this end of, of a game. They uh, were dominant in the regular season. Yeah, going through their scores, looking at other than the, the tie, of course, um, pretty, pretty dominant. Um, Looking at their scores here, 45-6, 28-14, 25-2, and then a 29-0 uh, game. So, uh, and then a 34-28 game against the Buccaneers that they won. But, uh, yeah, they're definitely not used to being in this position at all. Anderson on her center, handoff Rupp now. Cuts it back to the left, Rupp now. Rupp now lunges ahead to about the 20 yard line. A gain of five on the play. Stop. Nice run by Rupp now there. You get it some yardage. Makes it second and manageable. Of course too, it's a little different atmosphere here. Our regular season, for those that don't know, is, is at Podvin Park. So, you know, it's the first time they're at the big high school stadium. Oh, so yeah. a little bit of difference. You know, a little bit of the nerves and the jitters and the, you know, under the big lights, I'd say, so. Which happened to be on today, given our very overcast and snowy conditions. So they truly are for the big lights. Yes, they are. Yeah, and for you, those of you watching across the country, yes, this is snow. It's not a <laughs> April Fool's or a, it is snow. We're shocked here too, but.
Second and five for the Eagles. Anderson hands it off to Rupnow. Running right, chased by Mueller. And Rupnow taken down. Back about the 18 yard line, loss on the play. Max Pop eventually took him down. Good defense for the Buccaneers there. She sniffed that play out. But I tell you, the Eagles have just struggled for every yard they could get today. They really have, you know, hats off really to the Buccaneers. Have. They really have, they, they played good defensive ball. Uh, nothing's come easy for the Eagles at all today, both offensively and defensively. It's just been a struggle. to seven. Anderson hands it off. Miles to the left. Gets to the corner at the 20 and he's taken down. Just inside the 20. Nice run by Miles. Try and get that edge there. Try and get around the corner. Jackson Kolb, another tackle for the Buccaneers. Brings up fourth and five. We've heard Kolb's name a lot today. He's been in all over defensively for uh, the Buccaneers. Pulled up under seven minutes to play before this snap occurs. Fourth and five Eagles. A must make, they hand it off to Rupp, now gonna try to run right. Rupp now to the corner and he is a taken down met at the corner by Max Pop. And the Buccaneers will take over on downs. Pop came up a little gimpy, but. Now you're starting to see a little bit of confidence in the Buccaneers. Now they can smell this one definitely for sure. Yep. Buccaneers take over, first Good football game for the Buccaneers, honestly. Hats off to them, they played a really, really good football game. Obviously well coached, they were ready to play today. And uh, again, at one seed versus two seed, that goes to show you, you never know. You know, in some of it could be weather conditions, but honestly, both teams have to play in the, in the elements. So, yep. I mean, there's no excuse there. It's, Buccaneers ball, they lead at 20 to nothing, 5.50 to play in this ball game. Straight keep for Timmons, and Timmons just kind of picking his way and kind of picks his way all the way out to the 30 for a gain of six, maybe even seven on that carry. Timmons has had a good game today. Too. Yeah. I mean, we heard his name a lot, and uh, he's really had a nice ball game. He'll be a little sore, I think, in the morning after all the carries he's had. Well deserved. Don't know how much the weather conditions have affected the play call in here, but neither team has elected to put one in the air. No. And, and I think weather had something to do with it, but honestly, fourth or fifth grade, we don't see a lot of throwing anyway. I mean, even if there was good weather, you know, once in a while you'll have a few balls, but for the most part, it's a running game. And off Pesco trying to bounce it to the outside. Now cuts back and gets back to the line of scrimmage before Chase Arvig finally dropped him for good. Now as the ages go on today, we get you know fifth or sixth grade and then seventh and eighth. You'll see a little bit more throwing. I don't know about today so much, but uh, as the kids get older, of course, they'll throw the football a little more. We mentioned it a few times, but this is a one versus two seed, and all our championship games today are one, one seed versus two yeah, seeds. So yeah. doesn't always work out that way, but no. this year it certainly has. We're expecting really some good football all day today. I mean, this is a little bit of a surprise, twenty nothing, but uh, you know, third and four here for the Buccaneers. They'll pitch it back. Boy, and in the backfield, the initial hit came from Dominic Marino. 
Marino was in there so fast, I wonder if he wasn't in the backfield to begin with. That, was, that play was dead before it started. Nice play by Marino. Tyler Doton out to finish things off. Loss on the play back to the 26 yard line brings up fourth and eight. And of course the Buccaneers don't need to score anymore, so for them that's no problem. They're more concerned in eating up the clock and punting away here and maybe have one more series for the Eagles. It looks like they're gonna run a fourth down play here instead of just punting this one away. A little surprised, but whatever. Late handoff, Pesco off the right side, runs through an arm tackle. Pesco has a first yeah. down for the Buccaneers, still shedding tacklers. And Pesco inside Pesco the Eagle 30 run. before he's taken down. Wow, nice gutsy call by the Buccaneers, and that, that just might do it right there. That, that could be it. Nice run. Eagles had a couple shots at him they there did. before the first down marker. And Missed tackles again. And Now he can pretty much eat out the clock, and that's it. Under two and a half to play in this one. The Buccaneers, fresh set of downs, first and 10 from the Eagle 29-yard line. And I don't even think the Eagles will take any timeouts here, honestly. They might, but... Again, want to thank you, Joe, for volunteering to help broadcast the, the game today. We certainly appreciate it. Always on behalf fun. of the board, thank you. Always fun. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Yeah. <laughs> mass all mass confusion there looked like that. Not not sure what they were doing, but <laughs> all sorts of movement prior to that. Yes. Snap. Yeah. First and fifteen Buccaneers. Of course, this is one of four today, so it'll be a little bit of a long day for us. But at least we're up here in the somewhat warm confines of the, the box office or of the um, press box so not too bad and as we dip down to about a minute and a half to play once again our thanks to tv19 for being out here this morning and our thanks to msbn for providing the live stream a coverage of today's championship games first and 15 Buccaneers handed off. And unable to run out of the tackle in the backfield was Galvin. Galvin. Richter on the stop. Ethan Richter, the tackle for the Eagles. Yeah, and that's kind of what I thought. I think they're just going to let it run out. Yeah. The Eagles obviously had some timeouts, but they will not elect to use them. We dip under one minute to play in this one. We will have the trophy presentation after the, the game here, so. And off to Pesco, he is hit immediately and dropped by Tyler Doton. No gain on the play. I don't think the Buccaneers are going to have to run another play. I think like that's it, to. Joe. Yep, I don't think they'll let even run a play. They'll run it out. Congratulations to the Buccaneers for being the fourth and fifth grade champions for 2018. It is over. The number two seed Buccaneers come through. Winning the fourth and fifth grade championship, knocking off the number one seed Eagles. Your final score, Buccaneers 20, Eagles nothing. As you said, Dennis, congratulations, Jamison Frent and his Buccaneers, the 2018 champions. And I mean, convincingly, there was no, no guesswork on that one. They, they deserved it. They were definitely the better team today, and congratulations to them. 20 to nothing, your final score. Buccaneers defeat the Eagles. That will do it here from White Bear Stadium. My name's Joe Moore for Dennis Jansen, and for everybody behind the scenes, have a great day, everybody.